This week, I'm going to be showing you how to make this. You can make about, well, you can make nearly anything with this, with, with these units. Let me just move them here. And this is the unit. That's what you're going to do. Get a new sheet of paper. Mine's red. Start off by folding this sheet in half. Like so. So you've got a mountain fold on the right side. Next, fold the sheet into the center. Fold one side into the center. And crease with your fingernail. Turn around and do it for this side. Holding the sheet into quarters. So next, once you've done that, you should have this. So what you're going to do next, you're going to fold this little corner into this one here, like so. And you're also going to do this. Fold Turn it around and do it for this side. So we've got this. It's not directly folding it on there, it's not a really. But yeah. So you're folding this bottom tiny bit into this really long line here. Like so. Turn it around and you can sort of see the line. You're going to fold this line onto the line here. You can't really see it. Onto this line here. To make it into sort of. into this shape. And then fold this excess around the corner. Like so. Now do this with the opposite side. Once you've done that, turn it back over and fold. Fold this side and then fold the other side like this. Next, you're going to fold the top line onto this line here, like so. And this is called, or well, you may call this a reverse fold, but you're just going to lift this flap up and then fold it back down. Over and do the same with this side and instead of lifting this flap up when you can lift the flap up and just push push that inside so you've got this sort of pattern paper pattern piece of paper next you see you've got a line here if you've done it right you're going to valley fold it like so next you're going to fold, so you're putting this line onto this line. You're simply holding the triangle in half. Turn it around and do the exactly, exactly the same. Once you've done that, open it up and you should have something that looks like this. Simple. What you do is Make the ball. It is like, quite simple. I mean, the one that I showed you, I beat the coloured ones, was one with 15 or something like that, 12 or something. And this big one is made out of 30. To make the smaller one, get just like, make 30 if you want, and then just start off by putting this flap. And two, there should be a little like under flap in there, which you can put this flap inside, like so. And get another colour, put it in there, and then, oh, it's made a pyramid again. And you just fold this flap into here, like so. So you've got this. It's 
what you do next is just flip it on the side one. Be any of the sides, but just carry on one to that side. Now this will dry. I've only got two blues in this pile for some reason. You'll need to make one minute. So you put that in there. So we've got another print. So at the moment I've got two pyramids. As you you can sort of you can make a cube out of this by folding or making it three pyramids and making a pyramid here. And you can, put, you can sort of see it going into a cube if you know what I mean. See what I mean? Basically, just need to add another one onto that. But no, we're not going to make a cube, we're going to make a slightly bigger one. So we've got two, we're going to add on to here. sort of see this going into four pyramids. Put that in there and then add one onto here. You've got one, two, three, four pyramids. So that's how you make the smaller one. You just keep adding on until you get into the ball and make sure it's all four pyramids. If you want to make the bigger one, like this, you can make one which has one pyramid, two, three, four, five pyramids which is basically just adding a few more on like so Similar, so you know, see, you can sort of compare that, can't you? Then you just keep adding on. I know it won't be small because the, the, the ones that I made for the, the, this one, the sheets are bigger, and these are the smaller ones. So, yes, that's how you make this. Uh, next time, I will be showing you how to make this icosahedron it's basically a, a pentagon as you can see you've got one two three four five and it is you, you might need some um, paper clips to help you keep them together and it's still our bond and what if um, I tried using glue ages and ages ago when I first started and I didn't know how to do it, and I mean, you sort of can't use glue, otherwise it will just go weird, and it will look really weird, and it's, it, and it's not actually origami if you use glue. It's just like a bit like origami, but it's not. So I will be showing you how to make that next week. See you later.